Nathan, why the decision to come back? Um, yeah, I guess uh, it was a process over you know, a three or four week period where uh, I got approached by the footy club. Um, you know, I sort of at first it was almost not laughing it off because it wasn't a laughing matter, but it was more the fact that I questioned whether it was, a, was a, you know, physically a possibility. And then, you know, I, over the next three or four weeks, I saw my surgeon, John Cunningham, uh, about playing local footy at Strathmore, which I was keen to do with my brothers. And, um, you know, and I just sort of floated the idea that Essen had, had called me. And after he had a chuckle about it, he's like, are you serious? So I was like, yeah, no, I am. And he gave me the confidence and said, you know what, if you tick a few boxes, I'll, I'll clear you to play. Um, one thing led to another. I spoke to my wife, uh, my immediate family and a couple of uh, close friends and the people's opinion that matter most and most importantly the medical. I uh, come down to the footy club, pass the, the things I need to pass and it's a, it became a no-brainer for me in the end. You know, Like I said to someone yesterday, as a kid I wanted to play footy. I got it taken off me because of a nasty back injury. I feel I've been cleared medically to play, so why wouldn't I want to come back and do a job that I, that I love doing? Where's your fitness at overall, though, given you have had those nasty back injuries for a while? Um, you know, I'm not naive to think I'm sort of AFL match ready. It's a bloody tough competition, and I've been working at North Melbourne and seeing the work they've done firsthand. But I've been training with Strathmore Footy Club since uh, November. Uh, whilst it's not AFL intensity, I'd done more work probably over that period than I had at North in the last few years because of a nagging back injury. Um, you know, I'd been able to clear my head mentally and get away. I was in a pretty nasty space. We I had the third back operation last year and that's probably what Bragg meant with his comments about our conversation around picking up my children when I have them and enjoying a quality of life. But that hasn't entered my head at all in the last four to six weeks. I feel unbelievable. I haven't had back pain in the morning for three months. I hadn't had that in the past five years. I haven't been on daily you know, painkillers or injections and anti-inflammatories and I thought, well, why not? You know, It might be for 12 months of my life. It's something I can look back on and say, well, it worked out or, yeah, you're all right, I'm an idiot. So... But hopefully it's, yeah, it worked out. <laughs> you said about your um, match fitness and you sort of under no illusions about, you know, being match fit at AFL level. Does that make round one, I guess, a bit of a distant possibility or are you really hopeful that you'll be there? Ah, I've got to be careful how I answer that because people will say this bloke was a battler when he was fit <laughs> and how this idiot's coming in now for one week of... Yesterday I was with a few mates from North and uh, a game of NAB Cup was on and I signed my contract that day and I thought, well... I'm giving myself not much prep, that's for sure. But there was times at North um, where I came in off limited preparation. There was an end of 2010, I had a back operation on New Year's Eve. I played 13 weeks later. Um, whilst I didn't play that well, I, I got back to, to put my name up. And uh, it's a young group, it's exciting. Uh, it's, a, you know, it's, a, it's a proud footy club going through a, you know, a difficult time. They asked me to come and play. I spoke to the people that matter and uh, you know, now it's, up, it's on me. I've made that call to honour my commitment and get fit. And, uh, and offer something to the footy club, both on and off the field. If we told you nine months or six months ago that this was going to happen, what would have you said? Well, six months ago, I was laying in a hospital bed. Uh, I couldn't pass anything because my bow had been shifted during um, my operation. They cut me 15 centimetres from my belly button down to there. And uh, I would have just said, mate, just yeah, just get out of here, mate, before I jump out of this bed and give you a hiding because, you know, taking the, taking the mickey out of me almost. So it wasn't a possibility. Um, and that's why I'm so happy and... and passionate about it because it's a football, it's a game and we love it and uh, whilst there's people that are negative about me playing and will say you know he's past it and his body's past it and Essendon is stupid, well in 10 years time when I'm sitting back with the kids and, and my wife and I say how good was that year I had at Essendon, those two games I played before I broke down, <laughs> no no I'll be like you know obviously how good was that you know it worked out or it didn't I've made lifelong friends or Adrian Dodoro through the process has become uh, you know, someone I've built a great relationship with. Um, you know, the footy club, they're, they're brilliant. You meet good people daily and uh, hopefully the supporters take me in like the North guys did and, uh, and, and you know, make it enjoyable. And, and my commitment to Essendon is I'll do exactly what I did at North. Whilst I wasn't their best player and didn't pretend to be, I trained hard. I gave everything I could on field and off field socially and, you know, and I want to help these young players that are missing out on having their core leaders here for the next 12 months. Have you worked at Brad since? Signing. I read Brad's comments uh, in the paper, so he's concerned about me, that's for sure. And, uh, and I had a 45 minute convo with Brad and whilst I appreciate Brad and every other person that's called me and offered an opinion on it, um, and especially the respected guys, um, you know, they haven't been there since they weren't in hospital with me for the first week. They weren't there when I got back walking and running, lifting weights, the work I've done away from the group. Um, they're not privy to that, so I know from their point of view, they probably think I've just woken up and said, well, let's play AFL footy. You know, I started this process not to play AFL, but to play local footy. Um, and for that, I thank Strathmore for, for letting me out of my contract and being understanding. And 
the big thing with Brad as well was I had a thing with Fox Footy on, on the bounce and, uh, you know, he's like, he, he committed to life after footy and I said, well, I'm just going to, not the best probably response, but I was doing one year at a time, I think, and uh, and look beyond that after this year and have a bit of fun. What's realistic for you in the short term? I mean, do you, do you want to play NAB Challenge at all or can you do that, do you think? Yeah, oh, I'm thinking, yeah, um, I don't think I'll play next week, but um, we're three weeks, so hopefully I can play a half uh, in the last game and... You know, if I'm not there in round one, it's not the end of the world. The guys have got faith in the group they've got and my role will be obviously on field and, and off field. So as long as I'm offering something in the short term and um, get my body right and hopefully play and, and, and contribute. Do you think you'd be able to do the full training during the year or is it something you're just going to have to keep managing as the year goes by? Uh, once again, like I've had spent a lot of time with Bruce Reed, the doctor, the physios. I've spoke with John Cunningham numerous times. Uh, they the belief that I shouldn't even approach it, like I've come off a back injury, uh, as silly as it sounds, I can't come in with thinking I'm going to break down. Um, I'm just going to commit to the playing group and, uh, uh, you know, if I can play, you know, every week, that's awesome. If I can't, uh, and there's, you know, there'll be a reason behind why I can't, I'll, uh, you know, I'll deal with that and if it, you know, if it, there's a lot more to risk by doing it than not doing it, that's for sure and uh, I'm sure there'll be people that will be sitting there saying, you know, I told you so, but... No, can't really worry about those type of people. All going well, can you see yourself playing at this level beyond 2016? Well, I've been buttering up Adrian Dodoro, so uh, <laughs> hopefully it's a two-year plan. But no, I, I'm just looking at it this year, uh, and then, you know, who knows what's after that. I'm not silly to say that I'll play beyond that. Uh, let's just take it one year at a time, and, um, and then when this finishes, I've committed to go back to my local club, Strathmore, and and honour that commitment I have with those guys. So hopefully my body's still intact, no matter when that is, to go and uh, play some footy with those guys. Is there any risk you could make you back worse this year by playing at all? Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that good at the minute. So, um, no, there's obviously a risk. Um, you know, my first year in the AFL, I fell over at training and did my knee and missed a year. Like, it, you couldn't predict that. Yeah, obviously, I have I know the risk now uh, with my back and uh, I'm confident in the decision I made. I sat down with North. Uh, and they wrote a list of pros and cons and you know obviously the pros weren't outweighing the cons there's a lot more negative things to happen but at the end of the day um, I've made this decision and now I just want to move forward and, and help the boys. What What's about when it comes to, to learning a game plan now you know Essendon's now got nine blokes that have come in over the last four weeks pretty close to the season is it a matter of you know hitting the classroom over the next couple of weeks pretty hard? Um, oh, once again I've only been to one meeting uh, with, with John and, uh, and he's, he was great when I met him and uh, he's just someone you can tell cares so much about his players and they've got four senior coaches or previous senior coaches counting John on their, on their coaching panel and I love the game of footy and I want to learn as much as I can. I was working at North in a you know, part coaching mentoring role. I can learn off these guys and um, you know it's going to be you know, a collective effort from everyone to try and teach a game plan. Um, you know, they're good young players, they wouldn't be here if they weren't. Um, you know, it's a great opportunity for them to develop quicker than you know, other guys might have a chance. So. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be interesting. Um, I was only sitting in a North team meeting about two days ago looking at their game plan, so I was like, hey, Woosha, this is what North are doing. <laughs> um, but no, it's just bide your time. We've got premiership players here, you know, James Kelly, Stokesy, uh, Simpkin. Like, you know, any time you can sit around premiership players, you know, whether they're in their prime or not, it's still, it's still awesome to pick their brain. And uh, I think the guys are going to enjoy the year. You were a fan favourite at North. What, what's your message to those North fans that would have loved to see you retire at the Kangaroos? I was a fan favourite. My Twitter handle uh, has been quite abusive from a few of them, like wishing me to break a leg and uh, do me back, which is, sorry, which is perfect. So uh, the ones that know me uh, just know what I'm like and I want to get back and play. And, uh, you know, people said to me, like, oh, you're tarnishing your career. You should have been a one-club player. I was like, I played 86 games. I'm not Glenn Archer. Like, I just want to keep playing the game I love, for Christ's sake. Like... What's wrong with that? So as soon as my mum and dad were happy uh, and my wife was happy, uh, you know, the people that care uh, will be great. I've had board members, uh, coaches, players, supporters from North Ring and Call and Message and they've all wished me the best. So I still love them to win the flag uh, if we don't win it here, if I can say that. But, you know, obviously they've worked collectively as a group and I've been there for nine years. I'd love to see them be successful. Um, but, you know, I'm here now and I'm going to give everything I can to this footy club and, and reward um, the, the guys that, that gave me a chance. Thank you.